hello there um, um, I'm gonna show you what uh, the changing color script is doing uh, on a typical Vim session um, what this is is basically okay here's my cursor the time is now half past one this helps you to track what the time is passing as so I'm going to show you an example of what I mean I'm going to start one of my documents up now with Vim say there just now getting to my directory let's say try this one Okay, this is a, an action script file. It's not the best syntax, but I've just clicked it and it's going to open up in Vim. Just waiting for Vim to start. Uh, swap file. Delete. Hopefully that won't do any harm. Right, okay. What, uh, what is happening is. I hope you can see this. But what is happening is that. Um, halfway through the time um, there is a, a high kind of color so now it's about 3 one thirty. so as as I'm editing this file it, it will change but gradually so at the, this color scheme is like the high color scheme in half an hour's time it will turn into the low color scheme and then another half hour later it will turn into the high color scheme again but with a slightly different tint you see it's just gone a shade darker there the cursor is red and it shows you all the syntax each element that there is uh, a constant undefined is kind of as a constant uh, the element I'm going over now is normal most of it because in action script is normal uh, most of it is normal in action script in the action script uh, uh, color scheme uh, syntax uh, maker syntax wrapper which I had to also get from vim.org um, this is not standard and here uh, if uh, here is one of the statement ones that that has obviously another thing another thing added to it so it's basically three elements there's normal a statement and there's constant it's not a lot of different elements in this particular example there, there's a few other things if I kind of just try and find it because action script doesn't have a lot of different styles the syntax elements being used other languages have a lot like PHP does have a, a, a eight or nine or ten or something but uh, so that the tends to work better on different ones this is another one there I'm not sure what this one is but you can see it's changed again so it was like a white now it's going like a tint of blue or m purple so you can see it's helping you know that's a minute past now I'm showing you the highlight so you will see what that thing is yeah right I can't actually find it right what I think it looks like type, okay. Type about halfway down the screen, just over halfway, well, more than three quarters of the way down the screen. Type that is, exit that, I'll exit that, escape, okay. And now it's gone a little bit darker again, yeah. So it gives you like a good, also, the kind of the, the numbers on the left hand side are. Uh, thingy as well, so they're, they're they're blending in as well. There's another bit as well, which is the bottom, uh, which let's see if I go down a bit faster than that. I think you can handle. Vim's already very good, but I think that with this it becomes a bit more beginner friendly. I think because I'm a beginner as well, I'm not really like a professional, as you can probably tell, but. Uh, with this it becomes a bit more manageable to I think even professionals get stuck from time to time and maybe uh, this isn't perhaps perfect now but it would be very good if it worked well 
I think and it's, I've tried to make it as good as I can I've done about uh, you know I'm, I'm to version 1.10.3 or something with it and um, with you know I've still got little issues there is another way I can show you quickly what happens when it gets dark so we don't have to wait I'm going to choose uh, I'm going to set up a debug variable the global g my time equals zero okay so then it will go to that, that that's what it will look like when it's up to two o'clock but it's not going to be quite like that so you can see the cursor line is still that's probably a bit hard to see but there's one kind of got you with this which I can't easily get around that's a little bit like more like 220, 210 or something, 28 so I'm just using the number that it uses to work, kind of work out how far it is to manually to change the color scheme, this is how I debugged it obviously you know I've got to work out this thing here there is a slight visibility it's not I mean it's visible but it's not the nicest perhaps color in the world when it starts getting light or when it starts getting dark around this area you will see it's it's, it's not perhaps the nicest color but otherwise it would change abruptly into a dark color which looks really nasty so I, I, I'm not really like a, a you know an artist or anything so I have to just just get like a color which seems reasonable so I've chosen these kind of m purple and magenta colors to to kind of ease the change because th I can't change this easily using any kind of a trick that the, the the element that this represents this now it's back to normal now it's, now it's like a, a brown again because it has to change into a visible color so that I had to do something to keep it visible otherwise it wouldn't show okay so um, like for example with these statements I was able to use different tricks to get it visible then that but this, the normal doesn't allow this like for example here um, although it's you know it's, it's not brilliantly visible I changed the background a bit so I was able to sort of grade that grade up the background darken the background all kind of little tricks with with other elements like statement I'm not show you one where it shows quite clearly where it happens yeah, I mean actually, that actually what well, I mean, let's say the constant one is a good one to show that. You see the constant in blue. All right, that's it's. Um, you see it's slightly the blue. It's slightly highlighted in the background there. You see that where it says false. It's just to help the visibility come out. So I was able to use that trick, and the darker it gets, the more stronger that visibility that that highlighting gets. This is what I'm on about when I'm changing the. Um, the background highlighting, the, the, the uh, and ramping it and all this kind of stuff. It's ramping the the highlight so it's more powerful. Like there, it shows quite well. It's darkened the background on it so that it stays that the orange comes out in that kind of muggy background. So that's what I'm showing. And obviously, with the other one, I couldn't do that because that's not doesn't that is actually the background color. The the statement is the same equals the background. So I couldn't change that one because that would also change the background. So I had to use a trick in order to use that you know to get to and that's what I did and I'm, I'm trying to find out a better way to do it but I mean it's visible so it, you just have to bear with me while I get that one okay thank you very much